in this quick Lightroom tutorial today, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly and easily crop photos in Lightroom. Now, just for the sake of this video, I just want you guys to know I'm using Lightroom version 5.0, which was released on October 25th, 2021. But anyway, here is how you crop in Lightroom. So what you wanna do is you wanna go up to this tool here that shows two arrows and these L-shaped pieces. That is the crop symbol. So once we select that, we're actually able to now crop this photo. And there's multiple options here. So you have the aspect ratio. So it's as shot right now. So it's exactly, nothing's changed here. But you can also set it to predetermined aspect ratio. So they've got that all right here. You can enter a custom aspect ratio. There's original, which I'm not sure what the difference is between as shot and original. And then there's custom but we're gonna keep it as shot for the sake of this video. And what you can do is you can go right to the edge here and you can actually start pulling in to crop your photo or pulling out however you have it set up. We're gonna pull this up a little bit because it did crop the top and the bottom and pull it over a little bit more so that it's more in line with Instagram. And there we go, so now you can use the straightening tool to fix the photo if it's not level and you can also type in what you want it to be too but i'm going to stick with zero then down here we've got the rotate and flip tools which are exactly what they are they rotate the shot or flip it and these tools right here do more of the same so this will invert the photo so that it's upside down and this will flip the photo so that it looks opposite to the way it was shot but I like it just the way that it is. And then once you're all done, you can double click and it'll apply that crop to the photo. So that is how simple it is to crop in Lightroom. And if this video helped you out at all, definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I create new videos. And also please make sure to hit the thumbs up button because that will help this video rank higher in the algorithm. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching.